Now, this is a Haskell externally adjustable air pilot switch. Uh, to adjust it, back off the set of the screw to loosen the plate, slide the plate out of the way, and lock the plate in place so it doesn't get in your way of adjusting. Now you have two um, knobs here. The lower one's a locking knob, the top one's an um, adjusting knob. What you're going to do is take um, a drip pin. This is a 5 30 seconds. They fit really well. Put them inside the hold. Back off the lower one. Loosen that up. That will allow you to adjust uh, up or down on pressure. Now increasing pressure on the spring. Tension increases how much pressure you're going to need to open or close the uh, air pilot switch. This air pilot switch has a normally closed and normally open ports. Then you have your, your outlet which goes to your air cycling um, port on your liquid pump or gas boost depending on what you have. Normally closed means that with uh, no pressure the air will not flow through. With air pressure, with the hydraulic pressure uh, coming in, forcing the spring up, it opens up the uh, airway, allows uh, air pilot air going to your booster liquid pump. Now, normally open means that it's going to be open. You're going to have air going through, and when the pressure uh, comes up to what you set it at, it will shut off the air going flowing through and stopping your booster or your high, your uh, liquid pump. Now, like I said adjusting it. It's simple. Just increase spring te uh, tension, increases hydraulic pressure or gas pressure, depending on what you're using. Once you've got it set, adjusted, um, go ahead and go up pressure, and uh, it has a dead band of maybe 150, 200 psi, which means that um, it will not uh, reset until the pressure either drops down or increases to a specific pressure. But once you've got um, got it set to the pressure you, um, you need, go ahead and hold on to the uh, adjusting knob. Go ahead and take and tighten up your locking knob. And then that just snug it down. And just put your plate back in place. Go ahead and lock it down. And you're good to go. This is uh, one of the, uh, this is a lower pressure air pilot switch. Uh, there's different ones. They're all, the external ones are all uh, the same design with uh, the locking uh, knobs and the adjusting knob. Now if you get an air pilot switch which has an internal adjustment, that means you have to take it apart to set the adjustment. And it's a little bit uh, more difficult. We'll get on that later on. But uh, this is fairly simple. Your hydraulic pressure or gas pressure inlet, your air on the end for the normally closed or air in for normally open, and the outlet going to your gas booster or liquid pump. Um, any questions, uh, feel free to call uh, John at, Has at Pneumatic and Hydraulics, um, and uh, I can give you a little more detail on it. But uh, that's pretty much uh, straightforward, pretty simple on adjusting. Thank you.